And in other news, the Israeli high-tech sector is a cornerstone of the Israeli economy. After all, Israel is known as the startup nation. But has Israel's tech bubble finally burst? Joining us now to answer this question and more is Tut Chani, founding partner and CEO of Salona Partners, a venture capital fund that has aggregated investments in over 300 startups, including seven unicorn companies. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. So there's a sense of a downturn, particularly in the high tech industry. You know, we're starting to hear of companies tightening their belts, of layoffs. What is the current situation in the Israeli high tech sector? The current situation is that uh, we start to see that the Israeli ecosystem is also being affected by what's happened in the public market. So as we know, oftentimes the, the decrease in valuations in public markets are being uh, thrown to the, to the private market as well. And this is what we see in the Israeli ecosystem. Uh, so potentially valuations of companies have been, have been cut and the multiple that, that companies can raise based on is decreased. Um, and this is what we're seeing now, along with the slowdown in, in, in opening of new companies and the, the difficulty to raise capital at the moment. And yet recent, report, uh, recent reports indicate that the situation in high tech, you know, despite the layoffs and, and everything that you've just said, is, is good overall and that there's still, for example, a high demand for workers. So how do you explain this? You know, and why are companies unable to fill their open positions? So what happened is that when the market changes um, as, as, it, as it happened, then companies who managed to raise capital prior to the downturn, they actually have enough capital to continue uh, moving forward. And, and given the COVID and given the current situation, not every single company has actually slowed, slowed down. So if you take the, those companies that have already uh, raised capital prior to the recession, they have enough capital. Now that they need to prove themselves that they, they can continue on growing, so they continue to recruit uh, um, post opening positions. And, and not every position has um, a suitable talent to, um, to recruit to. Therefore, you see that even though there are many layoffs at the moment, and by companies that are not cash heavy. And so they need to change their operation structure and they need to cut on costs because potentially they need to last longer with the cash that they do have in bank. Um, and on the other side, you see companies that have managed to raise a significant amount of capital prior to the recession, and they need to prove themselves to, 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 to future investors that they can continue on growing. So they could keep on recruiting talent and they keep extending the, their team, even if not in the same pace that they, that they were doing um, six months ago or a year ago. And so how does Israel compare to the rest of the world? I can only answer on the extent that I'm, that I'm aware. So we have several foreign uh, portfolio companies at, at Sarona. Um, and I can tell you that from what we see, there is not much of a difference. Um, and the recession is global. The, the inflation is global. Um, and what happened in the public markets is global. So the impact on the private sector is also global. I think it, what's nice with Israel is that... Um, we are not based on, on local economy that much. So majority of the high tech companies, they target global markets and, and they, cannot, can, they can continue on growing in spite of the, of the recession. So um, I think Israel, because of our brand name and because of, of, um, of how the high tech um, is, uh, is working in the global, global economy, um, I think we're, we're okay. You also saw Geek Time published um, um, a few days ago that um, in June alone, the Israeli ecosystem have raised over a billion dollar. So there are companies that continue on growing um, uh, depending on their sector, because there are sectors that will continue to, to evolve on the real estate se sector and the investment sector. Um, as, as the interest increases, you, you have more capital that is deployed in uh, um, in the and yet, in the, in the banking and yet, sector and so on. There's a lot of talk surrounding, you know, the tech bubble. Do you think that the Israeli high tech bubble has finally burst or is on its way to burst? Um, in in many senses, yes. Because when you speak about a bubble, you usually speak about inflated valuations of companies. So in that sense, yes, um, and the bubble has burst. Um, on the other end, we do see continuous growth. 
So um, in terms of interest by investors uh, around the world who would like to tap into the Israeli market, I think that's a great timing to do so because um, it, especially in the early stages, the valuations are very attractive um, and it's a good opportunity for investors to actually step in now. All right, Tuchani, thank you so much for your insight today. Thank you for having me. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.